Yeah, you like that, you cow? Yeah, I bet you like that. What's up guys, Ming Moto here. I am on my way to try to find a fucking zebra. Last time I was out, I saw this fucking zebra. Gotta be quiet. I'm gonna try not to scare it away. There's a fucking zebra over here. A fucking real life Africa ass fucking zebra. Oh, I hope the GoPro can pick it up. Can you guys see that? That is a freaking real life zebra. See if I can use my phone to zoom in since I'm sure there's no way you guys can see that. Right. right. Right there. Can you see that on the screen? There's a fucking zebra. I'll see if I can get it closer one of these days. It's scared of the sound of the bike, so I can't get it to come close. And over here, you just got some regular ass donkeys. You're not cool, donkeys. You should be zebras. Over here. But I wasn't able to get a good picture or get up on it. So we're going to see a little better today so anyway I wanted to talk to you guys today about fucking texting and driving what are you guys thoughts on it do you get mad at it anymore I'm to the point where I see it I see it so often that it honestly doesn't really even piss me off anymore. I kind of just try to get away from them, you know. I used to, you know, like rev my, you know, rev bomb them or, you know, give them the... But, uh, man, it's fucking everybody. It's everybody. Actually, well, I had a guy right here in this spot not too long ago texting came all the way into this side of the road luckily i saw it coming i was looking way through the corner and i knew he was going to do that so i was able to kind of avoid him but i mean i've had several close calls just on this road but these days it's just so it's everything it's not just texting anymore now it's now it's Pandora, now it's iTunes, now it's Snapchat, Instagram, Facebook. They could be doing anything. Oh shit. Wow. Man, the zebra's not here today. Oh yeah, he is. It's just way over there. There's no way you guys can see that on GoPro.
back in here. So I was right where I am now, and a lady comes straight up the other way, going the wrong way through the S-turn. She basically just like shot the S-turn straight instead of going around it. And I, that was kind of when I first started riding, so it really shook me up. You know, I'll go through the corner and I look and I just see a fucking Jeep's headlights. And gee, that was one of my uh, introductions to the world of crazy drivers. It's a bit, this is crazy timing, but actually right fucking here, not maybe a week ago, another guy in some little car comes through here and he goes through this little turn right here he goes all the way into the other lane completely like all four tires and i just like laid on my horn i was like dude are you fucking kidding me but the point is man it's crazy out here you just gotta be super vigilant have your riding skills honed you know have your emergency stops and swerves and all that practice because you never know when you're gonna need it holy crap it's windy so out of hand it's a it's a two hundred dollar fine right here where i live which is in texas and uh and they enforce it pretty strong but i still see it everywhere all the time every time i ride like i said i used to get furious when i saw it and now I mean, I still do, I still don't like it, but it's like, what the hell can I do? It's everyone. But if you're gonna, I mean, I myself even am guilty of, you know, using my phone for Pandora uh, while I drive. So a lot of times I'll be changing the song or whatever. I'll just, I'll wait till I'm in a good spot, like somewhere like this, where there's no, no stops coming up anytime soon, nothing like that, uh, nobody around me and I'll just wait till then and I'll just look down, change the song real quick and look back up. Or I'll do it at lights, man. If you're texting and driving, or I mean if you're texting at a stoplight, I really don't care to be honest. I see a lot of these videos of people uh, bikers pulling up next to people that are texting at a stop and they get all pissed and they'll break their mirror or whatever like dude they're stopped all right the worst that's gonna happen is they're gonna take off late and it's kind of annoying but whatever I don't really care so much about that it's when you're in a dangerous area with lots of people around Lots of unexpected stops where anything could come from any direction. Go ahead. But when you're in a crowded area where you're actually driving, going down the road, do not fucking get on your phone. I mean, shit, it's not that hard. Whatever it is, it can wait. I gotta get some fucking gas. 
plug-in. Access road for the power lines, maybe? So anyway, guys, tell me your thoughts on texting and driving. Did, are you okay with people doing it while they're stopped? Are you okay with people using it for music, you know, like when they're not actually texting? And just drove right into some thick ass trees. <laughs> oh, you know, hey, how's it going, guys? Just driving through trees, normal shit, you know. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. This fucking poor bike. <laughs> Let's wait. I'm gonna wait till they go. I'm gonna wait till the golfers try to swing and I'm gonna hit my horn. Ready? that goes for 30 feet.
<laughs> oh, I can make a fucking whole day out of this. Whatever fucking pug has been crawling around on my back, I just smushed it. Ugh. So I currently have a smooshed bug attached to my fucking pack. I'm about to pull over and fix that. has been hitching a ride on my back for the last hour. Let's smush. Oh. Fucking gut stain. But where's the fucking bug? Oh. Or if it was like some fucking... Damn, I really want to know what it was. All there was was a big blood stain. What if it was like a fucking goddamn super poisonous like Texas farting spider or something? What if it was like the fucking most deadliest bug in the world and uh, I totally just like survived? Like little did I know my life was in danger for that whole last hour. Hey, how's it going, man? I think it's, a it's a Kawasaki Z125. <laughs> I just thought it'd be cool to take a picture in front of like the, the old gas station. Yeah, before they change the way it looks. What's up? They're about to change the way it all looks. Oh, are they? Yeah. For the 2018? Huh? Oh, this. I thought oh, you were talking cool. about the bike. No, I don't know anything about the bike. I've never seen one. It looks, it just looks small. Yeah, it's a, it's just a 125. Awesome. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I seen you coming this way, I said, that's kind of cool, and then you came back, so I want to check it out. Yeah, they're kind of like their own little thing now. Yeah. Honda makes one, too. Is it Honda 125? I guess it'll get up to good highway speed, huh? Eh, not really. Like, really? like 60 tops. I don't want to jump on 35s and uh, no. butt run over. No, not with the 18-wheelers <laughs> and assholes out there. Right on. All right, man. Pretty cool. But, yeah. Peace See you later, man. I knew that was going to happen. This was right here next to the police station. I'm even going to go like up this way and stop at the stop sign and like do everything legit too. <laughs> now I'm going to end up following him. fucking with golfers and everything else. Yeah, right here. So if I'm the Jeep, I'd right there. And as I came that way, it just almost got creamed. Ever since then, it's not even worth it going around questionable corners fast, man. It, it's just not worth it. I, I've had too many close calls. I just can't trust that people are gonna be in their lane or on their side of the road when I come around that corner. I just cannot trust that. So I always just stay all the way to the inside or outside depending on which way I'm going. So I wanna know, so I wanna know if texting and driving is illegal where you live. 
I know in a lot of places it is not it's not even illegal here it's a $200 fine like I said but that doesn't do jack shit to stop it so let me know down in the comments if it's legal and and how much the fine is and uh, whether or not it's made a difference for you where you live because this shit is just getting ridiculous You cow. Yeah, I bet you like that. Oh, he stopped. He's like, oh, he's filming me. I better stop. There we go. These transmissions are so funky sometimes. But anyway, this one of these black cows right here was just going to town on a horse's ass. You yeah. see, he's like, he knows I'm talking about him. He's like, he's like, yeah, that won't be. But I don't know if you guys can see it. I don't know if you guys can see it in the video, but. Dude, it was getting it, like it was in there, like tongue all up in there, eating it like some groceries, I swear. <laughs> well, that's going to wrap up today's vlog, guys. Uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, or don't, you know, whatever, but it'd be cool if you did. Guys, damn it. Catch them all.